2017 was that final, and Notre Dame beat Maryland 45 <laughs> What? What? That no, fits right in, right? Yeah, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I we, didn't... we have at least one person out there that wants to know I, that. I didn't start any of those guys. So this I wanted week. to. You didn't start anyone on Notre Dame. No Notre Dame players for me. Well, you know what? I, I want a Notre Dame player. Yeah. Yep. I want Ma- Malcolm Floyd's brother. Michael Floyd looks real nice. Well, they that... had a big game last night too. Again, 45-21 the Notre Dame. How soon's he coming? How soon's he coming be, to the big leagues? He'll be there next year. There you go. <laughs> he you almost came him. this year in the supplemental draft because he was, you know, he did something stupid off the field or something <laughs> weird. If he was, if he was going to be suspended, he probably would have entered that supplemental draft that Pryor was drafted in, but he did not. But he looks real good and is definitely going to be ready for the NFL. And since his brother's always out, he <laughs> might be a better NFL football player than his brother. Mark and Eric in the studio with Adam this morning. And, uh, fellas, let's, uh, before we get rolling here, and we will take your calls, 529-1450. Um, where's everyone sit? <laughs> Dude, in my franchise league. Coming up on week 10 here. I'm 2-7. and seven. I've lost six straight games. I mean, it's, uh, I've, never, I've never seen anything. I, listen, it, name at each position, maybe name like... Uh, may, name a guy who was supposed to be preseason top five, top ten, who just isn't. Name that guy, whoever he is, and he's on my team. You well, know what I mean? I, yeah, I know you have McFadden too with the injury. Now. Oh yeah, and yeah, in, in our Yahoo league, yeah, McFadden. But I, you know, I got, I have Michael Bush, like we talked about last. Yeah, week. Yeah, he had a big week. Michael Bush is a must. I mean, it's a you have to have him if you own Darren McFadden. And uh, yeah, and that you know, in that league, I'm looking okay. I blow out of the week last week. I. Won like one sixty five to a hundred or something. My my team's rolling over there. I'm fine, but you know it, we we prioritize our leagues. I mean, don't you guys? I have oh yeah leagues of most importance, and they kind of you know. And just my number one league is my franchise league, so I can win in every other league. If I lose in that league, my whole day is ruined. My whole and mm-hmm. so that's seven that's seven weeks out of nine <laughs> that I've had a miserable Sunday. Just terrible. Mark, where are you at these days? Doing well. I won. Doing yeah, well. Shut up, Mark. All four leagues I won last week. <laughs> our CRG, five and four in fourth place out of ten teams. My other three leagues are 12 team leagues. In the Marvel League, I'm seven, two, and oh. Uh, in the American Patriot League, six, two, and one in third place there. And in the, in the Expert League, I'm five and four in fifth place there. So I'm very happy. Right now, I'm in the playoffs in all four leagues. Jeez. Nice. That must be nice. I call you like. It, Preseason every year, you know, I call you for help and advice. How come you always win and I always lose? I don't understand. It. I don't understand it either. Uh, it, you know what? I'm really not doing that bad. Sometimes it's, it's luck. just that one league is Sometimes like it's luck. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> but, what we'll call it. But I'm actually on the outside looking in right now in the the league that I would like to win, the one that I'm in with both of you guys that I would have enjoy the most bragging rights with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's fun to brag with you guys too, but we've been doing that for years Absolutely. and years. But um, three and six now in seventh place, and in another league three and six in sixth place, so barely in right now in that league, and then in fourth place in another league, but only five and four, but still in fourth because that league, very, you know, everyone kind of even Steven yep. in that league too. So lots of parity. Still, still some time to get in the playoffs, but if you're sitting at three and six, you um, might be a little bit worried. So we're going to help you uh, build your team with All C Construction just after 10 o'clock this morning. But we're taking your calls all the way up to 11, helping you with your squad at 529-1450. A lot of big injuries out there, and the big news uh, this morning, not even an injury, uh, Deshaun Jackson going to be inactive this week. Unbelievable. I guess he missed a, uh, a team meeting. He, he missed a meeting, never called anything about it. They tried calling him, he never answered. What an idiot. Yeah, uh, you know, this guy, talk about a letdown of a season. Uh, but we maybe should have seen this coming with the the contract dispute in the off season. You can tell he's a different player this year. I mean, last year, yes, he was the deep threat, but I mean, he would also occasionally even go over the middle and grab a few passes. And he actually played like a receiver. This year, it's just not there. And, and you know, part of me is like, I mean, uh, this guy performed for a while and then asked for money. They didn't give it to him, and so now he's kind of like, meh. This you is, have fun then. If you don't want to pay me, then I'm not. But and I, you skipping team meetings, that's not professional. That's not what you do. I, I think this is a disgruntled employee, um, j- just completely unhappy where he is right now. Up until missing the team meeting, this was an exact almost mirror image of uh, Chris Johnson. I had, I had a real good year. Then all of a sudden, 
started to one guy got money, one guy you know, yeah. Yep, and there's another problem. I'm sure Deshaun Jackson's thinking, well, Chris Johnson, he got his. Why can't I get mine? Well, well, this is not going to help you. Not helping. Not yeah. saying he doesn't deserve it either. But when you miss team meetings yeah. and you don't mm. perform, like you said, Eric, you don't go across the middle anymore. Well. Yeah. Then how are you going to get paid? Yeah, well, uh, you know, the Eagles are going to be like, uh, you didn't do it's, anything. It's a vicious cycle, you know. It's uh, someone will pay him though. Yeah. He won't be an Eagle next year though. And That's my guess. No, and back to that. No, he won't. Uh, well, since he's out, Jason Avant would be a nice sleeper player. Oh, there you go. Steve Smith, who used to be on the Giants, uh, may get some action too if, you, wow. if you're in a real deep league. Oh, he's actually going to play, play now. Yeah. He, all he does is run his mouth. He hasn't played hardly at all. He hasn't done anything. Isn't he the one that got the whole dream team thing started and then doesn't even play? That was Vince Young. Mm-hmm. Vince, Vince Young, Young was the first yeah. one to see it. The backup quarterback. Okay, well, he's not playing a whole lot either. <laughs> he's, and he included himself. You know, as the backup quarterback, he's like, we got a dream team going around here. You know, you got me and, and his hands are rattling. <laughs> like, no, dude. Maybe it is a dream team, but you're dreaming if you think you're going to be part of that team. And don't be surprised if Brett Selleck gets a little bit more uh, targets also. He's been playing well yeah, lately, he has. hasn't he? He's been, uh, Vic's been looking for him. And, you know, here's a guy who a couple of seasons ago uh, was, I mean, was re- he looked really, really good. And he even snuck into, like, the top five in a lot of people's preseason projections last season and then wow he just disappointed fell flat he did absolutely nothing and so uh this year most leagues you can just find him floating around on the waiver wire brent Selleck, and as of late he's been kind of like heath miller all of a sudden he is Uh just a big factor in the passing game in philadelphia so i yeah i'd advise everyone if you need some tight end help go look and see if brent Selleck's just sitting there by chance and scoop him up because that guy is uh, is scoring points like we thought he would a few years ago. And maybe he's taking some of Deshaun's. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's can, he'll actually go across the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I, I'm i so torn on this Deshaun Jackson because it's like part of me is like, dude, you got to just show up and you got to keep working and you got to stay professional and you have to do your job. But on the other hand, it sucks to be underappreciated. It sucks to go out there and do a really good job for a few years and then still not get appreciation for it. Like, that stuff sucks. So, you know, I, I kind of get where he's coming from a little bit. But at the same time, you just got to you gotta man up and you got to go to work and you got to do your best. That's the only way to, uh, to you know, progress and succeed. And he's not doing that. So Matt Forte is going through the same thing, but he's showing up. But he's playing on the field. A couple fumbles last week, but... The, his first two of the year, though. Did you hear people? Somebody asked, and I'm trying to remember. I, it was some uh, some analyst. They were, now, do you think that the off-field contract dispute had something to do with those fumbles? <laughs> what? How in the hell? I'm sorry. No. I'm trying, I love the voice. Yeah, um, that's my voice. I couldn't remember who it was, so that was just my <laughs> default impression voice. <laughs> some chump with a microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I'm sure it had a lot to do with it. I'm sure he was thinking the whole time while he was running the ball that he wasn't getting paid enough. Yeah. So he's like, I'm just going to drop it. I'm just dropping it. I'm going to lay it down. It doesn't down. make any sense yeah. at all. No. Sometimes you, you get these guys who are supposed analysts, and you wonder, where are these guys coming from? Are they really <laughs> thinking things through? Are they listening to the stupid things that are coming out of their mouths? Uh, no, they just talk. Um, but Matt Forte, though, in real life, I, I don't know if there's anyone better this year. Um, as far as running backs go, he's going crazy. Are the Bears going to pay him, though? Well, <clears throat> the you Bears have a history of being kind of uh, tight. So what? You would think, what are you talking about? <laughs> you would think uh, <laughs> after a kind of season he's having, the Bears would creak open that uh, you know, wallet a little bit and pay the man. Well, 